Today I'm gonna to be yassifying even more famous logos. If you're new here, I'm Tyler, AKA Tylee Talk, and on this channel I design, redesign, critique, do all kinds of fun stuff with logos. So if you're into graphic design, then definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So this is a series I do on my channel where basically I take famous logos or famous logo mascots and I put them on to procreate on my iPad and I make them look yassified. A lot of times what this means is like giving them makeup, giving them acrylics, changing their hair, putting earrings on them, stuff like that to just make them be that kind of yassified version of the original mascot. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this one today. I'm gonna to be doing four. At first we have the Jolly Green Giant right in time for Thanksgiving. Okay, so let's bring it into Procreate. And the first thing I'm gonna do is tackle the eyebrows. So to do this, I'm gonna just draw over the original one in green. And then I'm really gonna to try to give them some definition. I want them to be very kind of tall and skinny, but have that definite arch to them. So I'm gonna do this one on the left side and then go ahead and work on covering the right one with more green. And I'm just gonna try to mirror that one as best as I possibly can um, as the one on the left. So again, I'm just arching it up. Uh, this one, I kind of, it took me a little bit to realize that I thought it was off. So I redrew it a couple times and finally I decided that they are sisters, not twins, and to move on to the eye. <laughs> so I'm doing the eye here, and I definitely wanted to give it that kind of cat eye eyeliner and then add on the lashes. So I'm doing that to the other side. You gotta draw that cat eye sharp enough to kill a man and then add in the biggest lashes <laughs> that you can. These ones were a little hard to see, um, but eventually I was happy with them. So then I added on the nose contour, some highlights, and then I'm gonna tackle the lips. So at first I was making these really <laughs> huge. Um, and then I decided to be a little more subtle with them and then add some gloss on. Finally, I'm adding on this earring. So I like to do hoops on these for whatever reason. I feel like that's just kind of a thing that a lot of these yassified ones have. So I drew that in green and then now I'm just outlining it in a darker green and giving it some extra highlights. Her chin is looking a little bit huge. So I decided to draw in some contour on that right side and the left side. And then I just erased where that giant neck was that she had. And so she just looked a little bit more petite. And then finally I drew on the highlights on the neck bones. I think this one came out super cute. She definitely looks like a mature logo. And for some reason it's giving me kind of like Jamie Lee Curtis vibes. I think because I didn't really do anything with the hair, she's got kind of that pixie cut and just that plus the features, I don't know, that's what it's giving me. Up next, I'm doing the Michelin Man. So to start, I'm just gonna try to draw the nose and carve it out a little bit, but it's looking kind of weird. Um, I'm adding the lips on and I feel like I just kind of drew the nose way too far down and it kind of looked like a skull. So I'm taking those out and now drawing the lips in and then I'm just gonna draw it up higher, but it's still kind of looking like nose holes. So I think I might just go in and do the right side only. Now I'm gonna give her some eyelashes. It's kind of hard because the eyes are very oval and upright instead of almond, but I think they look cute. Uh, I'm just gonna go in and add some contour and a little bit of definition in the chin. Now her chest looks a little bit off here, so I think I'm just gonna give her a little bit of a cleavage moment. So to do this, I'm just gonna draw out the general boob shapes, <laughs> I don't know what else I should call them. Um, and I'm just gonna erase underneath them so that that yellow line definitely still has that definition in there. Drawing this, it's kind of looking, something's looking a little bit off to me, but like kind of like a breastplate or something like that. But in the end, I'm kind of happy with how it looks. So now I'm gonna add on some acrylics onto the fingernails. And this one's kind of hard because the outline of her is so thick. So I ended up making them a little bit thicker than I thought I would initially and then added on these highlights and her head was looking a little bare. I think I might have had this photo in mind, but I decided to do like a high ponytail and it's kind of giving the girl with pearl earring vibes. It's kind of giving a little Ariana vibes. Now I'm just adding in some highlights on the hair and I'm gonna add in some hoops for her as well, but I decided to make them the yellow from the line and then finally, I think I'm just gonna keep that ponytail going down and give her a little bit more of a definition in the waist. So just filling that in with black, erasing it, and here's the final result. 
Something about the hair is giving her like an attitude. Um, but I really like how it came out. I like that I ended up doing the earrings in gold and it kind of almost looks like a different character, which I think is the point of doing all this. Next we have, next we have the Kool-Aid man. And for him, I'm gonna start by taking off the eyebrows by just drawing over them in red. These ones I want them to be really arched because there's a lot of space here on his forehead. So I'm just arching those and trying to make them as like sharp and arched as possible. But he's kind of looking evil right now. So I twisted them a little bit and it's definitely better. So then I just matched that on the other side by duplicating it. And now I'm adding in some eyelashes. This one's kind of similar to the last one in that the eyes are very round. So it's kind of weird how far they go over, but there's not much else I can really do for them because of how round the eyes are. So I'm just drawing those on. And then next I'm gonna tackle the nose. For this one, I added on the contour on both sides and I think it looks okay. I think maybe the Michelin man was just giving skull vibes because it was white, but it looks okay on her. Now I'm just getting some definition to these lips to give them a really good like peak right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for the top and then add a little bit to the bottom. And now I'm gonna add in some gloss. I always like to add in the gloss on these because I feel like it just gives the lips a lot of definition and it kind of makes it look like there's makeup on it without actually having to do any kind of shading with it. So now I'm just adding in all of these highlights all over her, added them to the brow bone, to the cheeks, and then I'm gonna start adding on acrylics. And this is where things take a little bit of a weird turn with her because I don't know if people normally actually do acrylics on their toes or not, but I decided that she was gonna have them on her toes, which also implies that the Kool-Aid man has toes. <laughs> so let's add those on there and add the little highlights onto all of them. And I'm also gonna add them to the hands. And then this is the Kool-Aid woman all complete. There's something very creepy about how large the face is compared to I guess the whole face is her body, so it's a little bit creepy. But overall, I think the effect is there and the highlights that were already on the Kool-Aid Man definitely add to the overall yassification of her because I added the highlights in where the makeup would be and then them also being on the picture. I just think it overall looks really, really glossy. Okay, and then finally for today, I'm doing the Pillsbury Doughboy, or I guess in this case, the Pillsbury Dough Girl. So I'm just gonna add on some lips and I'm gonna change the opacity on my pen so that it kind of looks like it's just over top of the white and not necessarily plump lips. It's just kind of like flat on the face because it is kind of flat on the face. Then I'm gonna add in the little tiny eyelashes. I added a lot onto them because, I don't know, I just liked the juxtaposition of the black and the white. Now I'm drawing the cat eye on the other eye and then giving him lashes on that side as well. I always like to do a little bit of a glint in the eye, so I added that into both of them. And then now I'm just bringing in some contour with a little bit of a darker gray. And I'm really working with still the same brush that I've been doing all the other ones, even though he is shaded, even though he is shaded, I just thought using like a pen without the opacity all the way up would kind of keep the original features and the original shading, but just add this a little bit of definition on top. So I did that with both cheeks and with the nose. And then I used this little mesh warpy tool on Procreate to <laughs> cinch in her waist. Uh, it didn't show it as much as I wish it would have shown on here, but it definitely goes from like thick to thin really fast. So then I'm adding on the acrylics in red, and I think that these look pretty good on the white, so the red juxtaposed on the white. And then I just added in, you can't really see it, but I'm adding in some little shadows right underneath the acrylics just to give it a little bit more definition. And here's that one all complete. This one is definitely the weirdest looking. I mean, uh, if I would have done it over, I could have made the waist a little bit less defined maybe, but I think this is just overall funny to me. And I'm happy with my little dough girl. Well, that's all the ones I made from today. Honestly, I think my favorite one has got to be the Kool-Aid woman just because she looks so weird. And also the Michelin 
woman because I think the high ponytail, I don't know where that came from, why I decided to do that, but I think it added a lot to her and I really like how she looks. If you enjoyed this video, you can go ahead and give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know down in the comments which other logo mascots I should yassify, and I'll see you in the next one.